This is a quick introduction to the Zortrax Inventor, uh, a printer that's due out at the end of this year. Um, and as the Zortrax M200 has been so successful, we are very much looking forward to, to seeing this printer. Um, we haven't actually had a chance to get our hands on it yet, um, but uh, we've been reading up on it, and uh, these are the kind of interesting points that we've, we've found. Okay, so similarly to the M200, uh, the Inventure has also got a perforated plate, and the print resolution is also the same. Uh, the main difference you've got with this is that it's got dual extrusion, so you can print in two different colours and use dissolvable filaments as well, which is brilliant for, for support material. It means you can print within a model, dissolve it, and be left with a perfect finish. Another really nice feature with this is that it's completely enclosed um, and it has a heated, in, heated chamber. So it doesn't matter what's going on around it, whether you've got windows left open or drafts, it's going to say, the temperature is going to say completely consistent inside, which I think is a, will impact the quality of it quite a lot. Um, another nice feature is that they've put a, a chip into the spools um, which will, so the printer will detect what material it is, what colour it is, um, and how much is left in there. So you don't really need to worry about checking um, to see if you've got enough. It will also detect whether there's filament coming through and pause it if necessary. So the main uh, print material that you'd be using is one that's called Z Ultra Plus. Um, if you use the M200, you'll, you might be familiar with Z Ultra. Uh, Z Ultra Plus is one they've developed specially for this machine and it comes in a 1.5mm diameter. The main properties of Z Ultra and Z Ultra Plus are that it's very tough and really quite durable. One, one thing that you could note for, for the inventor is the, the print size, the build space that you've got. It's 13 centimetres cubed. If you're interested at all in this printer, then please check out our website. You can enter your email address in there and we'll let you know when it's available. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, then please click to subscribe. For more information on the printers and materials we've used in this video, visit dream3d.co.uk.